Yes, it is the launch of real, and I think uh, this means real business in terms of education. It's um, about marginalised young people, particularly, who are not getting education, and it particularly real, the new unit will focus on South Asia and Sub-Saharan Sub Africa. The real centre is something that's really important within the university. It celebrates education, girls' education in particular, and education as a key to social transformation. Education is right at the heart of everything that we have to do. It gives hope. Remove education, and where are you? You are going absolutely nowhere. As long as you educate girls, you will reduce maternal mortality and you will reduce childhood deaths without changing the healthcare system at all. I am absolutely delighted <coughs> today uh, to say that this is a, a real immense addition to the panoply of what's available here in Cambridge. I wish you all well and believe me, for the time that remains for me within this university, I'll be keeping a very close eye on the progress. <laughs> So today, we're joined by an amazingly distinguished panel, Julia Gillard from the Global Partnership for Education, and Hans uh, Blackstaff from the Norwegian government for, they've shown immense leadership in promoting education for the most marginalized, and girls in particular. Thank you for making me see, feel so very welcome from the moment I reach Cambridge. A particular thank you too to Pauline Rose, the director of the Real Centre, very well named Real Centre, uh, the launch of which we're here to celebrate today, and to Lucy Lake of Pamphed. Pauline and Lucy, this is a proud day for both of you, and I really feel very privileged to have been invited to come and share it, so thank you. The lack of resources is compounded by a lack of research. Donors understandably look for the best use of their money to ensure it is directed to what works. In turn, evidence of what works turbocharges the effectiveness of advocacy. That's why I am so pleased to be here today to celebrate the launch of the Research for Equitable Access and Learning Centre. The well-named Real Centre will make a real difference to the world's understanding on what best works to educate the most marginalised and most at-risk girls. Part of what has held the cause of global education back is the fragmentation and paucity of information about effective strategies for schooling and learning. When you join together women like Pauline Rose, Anne Cotton and Lucy Lake, the energy, energy generated is truly spectacular. As a result, I am absolutely confident that the real centre working with CAMFED will be generating much light to guide the global community as we work to educate every child, including every girl. It's an honour to be associated with this launch of the Real Centre, and it will be fascinating and motivating to see the research that it generates. I'm sure the Real Centre is going to be one of real achievement. I thank you very much. By focusing on equity and learning, the Real Centre can play a substantial role in supplying much needed knowledge for how we can provide quality education for as many students as possible. We hear this lot these days a lot about the need for data and for more knowledge about the needs and challenges. This is certainly called for. Still, data in itself will of course not be sufficient. We need to ensure that robust methodology and research is applied in ways that can lead to concrete policy recommendations. By focusing on equity and learning, the real center will play a critical role in strengthening the evidence base. I wish the center every success and thank you for your attention. I have the great privilege of being the moderator for our second panel. Uh, thanks so much to the organizers for inviting me and thanks to Barbara and other colleagues for setting the scene so well and setting out the challenges and the opportunities that face us uh, so, so articulately. We identified six themes, six research themes that we'll be focusing on, but cutting across all of those research themes are issues around inequality. Inequality primarily in relation to poverty, gender and disability. So they, those things that we've already been hearing so much about. And really at the core of this is that you can't separate these three forms of disadvantage. 
we need to be more than some of our parts. So we want to bring this together, make sure that the research that we're doing is rigorous, but also to make sure that we're doing it in partnership. Because as researchers, we can only go so far. We need to work with partners who have experience both at the global level, so working a lot with the Department for International Development in various ways. Um, we also, this morning, in relation to the discussion with the First Lady, we're discussing how we might work further in partnership with the USAID, who has strong commitments to working in conflict areas as well as um, in relation to girls' education. We also, of course, want to work in partnership with NGOs who have experience on the ground, and this is where our partnership with CAMFED comes in in particular. Under the Girls' Education Challenge, we are tracking 21,000 young people, girls and boys, those who are marginalised and non-marginalised, in order to be able to dig down and look at some of the links between children's academic outcomes, the soft skills and the link between those, and these background variables, and that's something that we'll be digging into with the Real Centre. Laws and policies on paper that are very strong to protect girls' rights, but it is the attitudes on the grounds that we need to, to deal with. We need to deal with um, the attitudes of those gatekeepers who have an influence on a girl's life to make sure that they do not tolerate or accept violence when it happens on a woman. They do not negotiate.